Use this two play combination to go ahead and carve your opponent off to the right and off to the left and in the middle. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, we're going to talk about uh, a particular play. It's actually a combination of two different plays. Uh, you can find these in the Titans playbook, the Redskins playbook, and the Rams playbook. And we're going to be breaking down uh, play action motion slide and play action motion post dig. These are two plays that play off of each other, attack two different sides of the field, and are very effective for you to go ahead and uh, get some big yards down the middle of the field and off to the sidelines. So as you can see right here, these are the plays, play action motion slide and play action motion post. What's great about it is that you're attacking levels on one side and you're actually attacking levels on the other side. Uh, and you have an opportunity to go ahead and hit your opponent big deep uh, over the middle. Uh, I, I do like to make some adjustments with these particular plays to make them a little bit more effective. Uh, the inside zone split is not a play I'm actually going to use. I don't like the motion. I actually like to go and block the tight end and not motion him just because I just don't like the animation it goes into. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and run these and actually block our tight ends. And I'll show you how it works against uh, different types of coverages. Now, uh, for the sake of this breakdown, I'm not going to use this against man blitzers. Uh, because man coverage blitzers, this is not really the best plays because you need some time for these these routes to develop. And if a guy's using a lot of heavy, heavy man blitzes, I would recommend not using this because it's just not a right, a right play set for heavy man blitzes. All right, so uh, I don't want to go ahead and leave this motion with this particular play because what happens is you see uh, Walker actually goes ahead, falls in and slides, and he gets caught up in the slide. So that just makes it uh, a very effective play. It doesn't make it predictable enough. Sometimes he'll get caught up, he'll fall over, and you can get yourself um, in some serious trouble. So what I like to do is make the following adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and take Walker. I'm going to put him on an out route. Then I'm going to take Davis and put him on a slant route. Now, the reason I actually put Davis on a slant route is that deep dig route takes a long time to develop and then a lot of yellow zones will come up and play it and that just doesn't make it a very effective route because I can't fall back to it so uh, I like to go ahead and do a slant route because it gives me a fast read. So my first read is going to be Walker, then Taylor, and then Davis. Walker should get separation majority of the time against most coverages, and that's going to be an easy five or six yards, and it's going to be very harassing to your opponent to stop. So once again, let's go ahead and set that up again. And this is going to be the route we're going to go and look to. And if you rack that puppy, you can pick up a good uh, five, ten, seven yards with it. Now, if your opponent is playing a hard flat, that corner route will get separation, and it'll actually give you an opportunity for a big completion right there. So that's what I like about these combination of these routes. Now, on the backside, we're going to go ahead and do the play action motion dig, play action motion dig. And I like to, to block the tight end because I don't want him sliding over. And I'm going to go ahead and take Taylor. I'm going to put him in a slant route because he just releases a little bit better and more of an anger. He gets more depth and doesn't preoccupy the route by Matthews. So our first area we're going to look at is going to be the underneath route by the running back. And I'm going to go ahead and check down to that. I want, to, I want my opponent to defend that flat. Another area of the field you can go to... Uh, is that uh, deep post route and you want to throw it early believe it or not uh, because he's going to get pretty crazy separation and get a get a 20 yard gainer for you if your opponent's using cover two he's going to have to kind of pick his poison whether he wants to defend those flats or actually take care of that deep post route so that's what i do like about this play is that it's going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and attack uh, your opponent pretty effectively with the with this route combination and uh this area can get you some easy yards, a good 20-yard gainer if you, if you read the, the ball correctly. Now, what about cover three? Well, cover three, pretty much the same uh, reads. You've got that that uh, little underneath route that you can attack your opponent right there. I kind of threw into coverage, but you see I could get that animation to work for me. I slant up that back wide receiver. And uh, this is where uh, I cover three is that where that corner route is going to get really good separation against cover three. Because if those guys come out with hard flats, uh, it's going to be really easy to go ahead and beat them with the big corner route. So let's see right here where the corner route is just going to get crazy separation against the guy that spams a lot of co cover three. So it's a rolling coverage. And this is where that slant comes in to help is that if you've got a lot of coverage off the sidelines, you can hit him with that slant. Three high shell, 
flat corner and we're just going to go ahead and get a nice little completion for a 20 yard gainer so really really effective against cover three what about the play action post a blocker our, our tight end we're going to look uh, underneath to the flat route take it if it's there force your opponent to defend that flat it's just like the uh the, the out route so look to the levels you've also got this route that you can hit to your opponent if you do a down pass lead uh, to go ahead and get in front of the coverages so it's a good play to go and jump into and get some pretty big yards uh, with the combination of these routes. Now cover four plays this a little bit differently. Uh, you're going to get um, uh, an area of the field where that uh, that quarters, corner flat uh, uh, defender is actually going to go ahead and play that out route. And it's going to be a little bit more precise. But what's going to happen is this route is going to get crazy separation. So with quarters, um, you know you're going to be able to get a good 20-yard completion because the defender is going to be out of the area to go ahead and defend that. Uh, you can see there you can get a nice sideline position uh, to go ahead and pick up some good 20 yards. Now what about the backside? Well, with the backside, once again, you're going to go ahead and take a look um, at that flat route, play that. And also, this is where you're going to get your big play against cover four. So if you're running the ball effectively out of this formation and your opponent jumps into cover four, uh, he's going to get himself majorly screwed uh, with this type of coverage, uh, primarily because that uh, those guys are actually going to be in one-on-one -on -one type of situations with this coverage. So I uh, got a, a block shed right there and a sack, but let's go ahead and take a look at this one more time. You can watch how that crossing or the crosser or, or the underneath route gets easy separation against cover four. So great play to go and jump into, the great combination of plays, giving your opponent the same type of look, getting them a play action to go ahead and think about. And you've got that back crosser that you can actually attack against your opponent. So once again, guys, if you like these type of tips, make sure you hit the like button. To my subscribers, thank you for your support. And once again, thank you so much to my patrons for the support. And until next time.